In this section, we're going to see how arrays are stored in the memory, which is also the reason why the elements in an array are retrieved in a special way, which I will explain later on in the video, but for now, let's start with what an array is. Well, an array is a collection, as you already know, which is contiguous. And by contiguous, I mean that the elements have no gaps between them. So they are stored in the memory as one contiguous block. And these arrays will start with a memory address, also called the base address, which is the location in the memory where the array is stored. And as you already know, all the elements in the array must be of the same data type. But also interesting to know is that all the elements take an equal amount of space in the memory. So let's say we want to store five integers in our array, and let's say an integer is four bytes. And for now, let's assume that the array starts at address four. But in reality, that's not the case, but just to keep things simple. Then we will store a contiguous block of 20 bytes in the memory starting from address 4. And that's why we need to specify the length of the array when we create the array. So the Java virtual machine knows how much memory it has to allocate for that array. And that's also the reason why we can decrease or increase the size of it. Because let's say we decrease the size of it, then something else might take its place in the memory. And that way we can't guarantee that the extra space that we will add later will be in the same contiguous block of memory. So how do we retrieve the elements in a block of memory? Well, we know the base address, and we also know that all elements have the same size. So to retrieve an element by its index, we can do that easily by using the following expression. And x will be the base address, i will be the index of the element that we want to retrieve, and y will be the size that each element takes in the memory. So to retrieve the third element, we take the base address, we multiply the index by the size of the element, and that will be the offset from the beginning of the array. And finally, we add the offset to the base address, which will result in the memory address of that specific element, which is 12. And note that this is only possible because each element takes an equal amount of space in the memory. So you might wonder, what about strings? As strings can be of different lengths, doesn't that mean that they all have different sizes? Well, yes, but a string is basically an object, and each object also has an object reference. And object references have always the same size. So what you're actually storing in the array is not the string itself, but it's the object reference. And that's why you can also have object arrays. 